so I recently got myself an e-bike and I thought it'd be a decent idea to take it out on the course with me instead of walking around everywhere. I think I looked it up and the average round of disc golf uh, per 18 holes is about 3 miles walked, which is honestly my least favorite part of, of the round. Anyway, the unboxing experience here was actually quite simple. Everything was set out so that all you had to do was put the pedals on and attach the handlebars and you were ready to go. Locked, bike ready, let's go baby. All right, this is hole one, but there are too many people, so we're gonna start on hole two, baby. All right, so this is the blue tee pad. There's no way I'm gonna be playing 574, so we're going to the red tee pad for 370. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to be playing with this thing on so I can easily switch the GoPro back on and hop on the bike, but uh, you know, I've thrown zero warm-up shots. I think I'm gonna just throw a nice little mid-range Mako 3. This, uh, I guess in this plastic, at least mine is a little bit understable, so it should give me that extra push. There it is. Perfect. I'm going to be throwing the Warship, uh, the Westside Discs Warship. That's perfect, man. A little bit low, but great flight. All right, let's see how good my drives were. All right, my second drive landed right here. Boom. And my first drive landed right here. Oh man, I'm missing right today, I guess. All right. We are even through one. All right, guys, this next hole is a 900 foot hole. We do have OB off to the left side. That ditch over there marks the OB. I'm gonna go with this slower speed, Leo, I think it's understable. And with uh, Macbeth Force, this craft force, uh, this one's really understable if you rip on it. Oh, I think that's OB, bro. No. We're in bounds, baby. We're in bounds. It's drifting right but I think it's gonna to be too stable. I think they both landed right next to each other. Dude, where are my discs? Okay, I see it. Dude, these two drives landed right next to each other. The pin is over there somewhere and all of this is OB. Everything in front of you to the pin is OB. That's why you really wanna be more off to the right side. But here we go. Yup. Yup. I think that was pretty good. Let's get up this hill. Woo, we got up. Let's go. Alright, third shot. No way. Oh, no! That'll get the blood running, baby. All right, boys, hole five, part three, 202 feet. I'm throwing the Rock X3. Pretty good. Here we are on the world's shortest basket for a birdie. Part three, 274. It's right over this lip, all the way down there but i like that it's tucked away in this little nook of the park i don't know i just think it's really cool dude that was park two all right this is the range i struggle with so let's see if we can just lock it in man just look at the pin aim for a chain come on let's go baby 
That felt good. I like that. That was really good. Yeah, it's great. I like that. It's gonna be a tough putt. God damn it. Here we are in hole eight. Aw oh, man, there's a family there, so I'm... Hey, take it easy. There's a family over there, so I'm gonna have to clear the next hole. We're gonna skip this one. It's really hard anyway. Here we are, baby. There we go. Here we got hole 10. Hole 10 is straight down that way. Boop, boop. And I want to birdie it. That might have been perfect. That was actually really good. Yeah, baby. Ooh. I'm gonna try this hyzer down the right gap. It's gonna be hard, honestly. No, too straight, that's in the water. All right, goodbye T pad of hole 10. So as you can see, this is a very beautiful hole. All right guys, we're done for the day. I'm tired, I'm hungry, thirsty, I ran out of water. We're gonna head back to the car. See ya. I just wanted to finish off this video with a few final thoughts on how the round went, how the bike performed, you know, how the whole experience was in general. So obviously, um, I'm carrying around a lot of things. I have my disc golf bag, I have the tripod, and just a few accessories. So it does get a little bit awkward having to carry everything around um, while having my hands on the handlebars. But I can totally see how if you're just out there by yourself and you have an e-bike with you, man, like you'll burn through a round. It'll be so fast. I think it was a super fun way to play the game of golf. It's like a hybrid of mountain biking out there on the terrain of the course and playing golf at the same time. I was a huge fan. So as far as the bike itself, the throttle does have some delay to it. So it's not like instantly responsive. But otherwise, man, I love that scrambler aesthetic of this bike. Uh, the seat is freaking sick. It's big, it's comfortable. The seating position and the handlebars sit perfectly for you know a guy my height. So with the thick grippy tires and the front suspension, uh, it was only obvious that I was gonna take it out off the path and see how it performed on you know, terrain. Obviously it wasn't the best. The bike isn't designed for that. It just kind of has that look, but really it's designed for paved roads and like bike paths. But like we're out there playing golf. It's not like we're freaking mountain biking for Red Bull. You know, it's, it's perfectly, it got me up a few steep hills. So the motor is reasonably strong, right? For the average course. So my main takeaway was a positive experience for sure. I, I'm going to do it again and I will keep posting these for a long time on this channel. I mean, I already dropped a few hundred bucks on that bike. So I'm for sure gonna get my use out of it. That's about it for me on this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video out there on the course and the bike. See ya.